What's up friends and welcome back to Drew Tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you. Now guys in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix your USB device not recognized on Windows 11 or even on Windows 10. Right? So the first thing that you can do to fix this problem is to simply click on your Windows icon and you want to type in power. Right? You will see two power options here. And in this case, you want to go in and click edit power plan. Now, once you're here, just simply click on this option where you see it says change advanced power settings. You want to click on that. And if you're able to see USB settings here, guys, you want to go ahead and enable or disable it, right? So you can go ahead and you can try that. And if you have any USB option here within the list, you want to go ahead and click and enable or disable it that option right and in this case i'm going to show you a typical example so if you are able to find the usb option zero you can just simply expand it and if you see the usb for example this is it you can just simply click on it and you can turn it on or off or disable enable whichever option you see available to you now if you're not able to see it here no problem no worries about that and you simply just want to move on to the next step that i will show you now so the next step is just simply right click on the windows icon again and you simply want to go to device manager now once you're inside device manager guys simply scroll on to the bottom to where you have the universal serial bus controllers you want to expand that guys and for these two first host controllers guys you want to simply right click on them click on update search automatically for your drivers and you want to install the latest driver if the latest driver is installed you will see it go through just like mine there and if not you will be able to install the latest driver so once you do that then you want to continue with the additional steps so for example any other device you see here you can simply right click again and do a update you can simply right click do a update right for the usb composite device you can do the same thing guys you can simply go ahead and do a update for the usb root of you want to simply go ahead and disable the device Simple click on yes to disable it. It's going to do a refresh and you want to right click again and enable it. And that's all you have to do. Just go ahead and do the same thing for both of them. You can also try to update them as well. And once you do that, you want to move on to the next step, right? Now the next step that I want to advise for you guys, simply open up your file explorer and simply go down to local C drive. And then you want to search for the Windows folder. You want to open up the Windows folder here. And then you want to look for the INF folder. You should be able to find it here in the list. Once you open that folder, you simply want to search for WPDMT. You want to simply search for WPDMT. Now, once you find the WPDMT, you will be able to find the file here that says WPDMTPINF. Right? So, once you find this file, just simply right click on this file. And you simply want to do an install so once you click on install it will go ahead and install and then you want to simply go ahead and restart your computer now after you restart your computer if that does not solve the problem you want to go ahead and try the following if you're using the windows 11 right click on the windows icon and simply go to this management or if you're not using the windows 11 windows 10 for example just click on the windows icon and you want to simply type disk management and you will be able to find it where it says create format hard disk partition it's the same thing it will take you into the disk management now here you will be able to find quite a few disks you'll be able to see the usb if you have a usb guys you should be able to find that in the list now if you're able to find the usb in your list let's use this one for example let's say the usb is a c drive for example right you want to right click on it you want to simply go ahead and click on the drive letter and you want to change the drive letter so if this is a usb you can easily change it to a drive f or a drive z or a drive k whichever letter you want to choose just simply go ahead and change and it will allow you to change the drive letter to whichever you want now once you do this go ahead and try again and you can also go ahead and restart your computer to test it once more now guys go ahead and try these and i really hope that one of these will help you to fix the issue that you're facing. Now guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful. And if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. 
And if you're seeing the channel for the first time, well, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo, and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community. And also, so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much, and see you next time.